Welcome, this is the TCAP practice test for integrated math one. We're in subpart one right now, which means no calculators allowed, and we're on question number four. And in sub, uh, the bummer about this is I can't just type everything in, so I'm going to think, well, what does it all mean? So this question obviously talks about box and whisker plots, not whisper plots, that's something else that's like collusion. So I tend to think of box and whisker plots uh, in terms of a really sadly drawn and you have to lie to yourself that these are actually supposed to be quarters. I've done it so badly I can't even finish that one. Pretend they're the same size and that they cover out that dollar bill. So the dollar bills and the quarters there. What happens when you're working with a uh, box and whisker plot is it takes all of the data and breaks it into equal parts. So each quarter represents the same amount of data. The average of all of it, so the middle number, not the average, sorry, the middle number here, the median, is represented by a line between Q2 and Q3, so in here. There's another similar line between Q1 and Q3, and we probably refer to this, you, you'll obviously, you'll see it marked as Q1 a lot, because it's, it's showing you where the end of quarter one is. And there's another one here that's Q3. The part in the middle there, that's the interquartile range. So to me, I always think like, oh, it's the quarters that are inside. That's the data that's, that's spread out in that way. And the whiskers represent the smallest point and the largest point in the data set. So that, all that key piece of information to know, uh, the way that they're set up. Now, what are we working with? Two of Mr. Evans' Earth Science classes have 23 students each. Box plots for recent test scores for these two classes are displayed. So here we go. This would be where Q3 starts, Q1 ends here, so this is the interquartile range, so same thing here, and you'll see the median value tends to fall right here. Uh, I should also say the median value and the mean are not the same thing. If I have 33, 34, and 36, my median value would be here, whereas my mean value, I need to add all those up and divide by 3. We'll give you the same number you can try on your own. I'll leave a little mystery to this, whatever. So I can't use a calculator because it's sub part one. Anyways, that matters here in a minute, so I'm telling you this. As you can see, there's a big spread between quarter one and quarter three for first period, or for fifth period, sorry. And it looks like the lowest score overall is in fifth period. But fifth period may be the last class of the day, and being in any class or the last class of the day, you'll likely see people start to, you know, you can only handle it for so long, I get it. Anyway, let's look at the questions. Uh, which statement above, uh, which statement about the scores is true? Now you'll see which statement and the word is here. That means they're looking for a singular answer. It's not one of those multiple selects where you have to pick multiple things and they're all right. That's a key thing to think about when you're working these problems. Does it say are statements? Statements are. Does it say statement is? Because it'll tell you that you're looking for more than one, so you don't have to keep hunting if you find one that's true. Although you'll find in this question there's a slight bit of ambiguity based on wording, so I need to look further to make sure I'm right or wrong. The means of the two data sets are equal as the first statement. Well, the medians are the same. They're right, right at 79, but you'll see this is spread out more. This goes higher. This is a little, you know, this is down here. I don't know. Probably not, but I can't say anything very specific about the mean. I can give you a general idea of what the mean looks like, but I can't say specifically that they're the same value. If this is the median were equal, then yeah, I'm good to go, but in this case, no. The next one has a weird wording that I don't love. The lower quartiles of the two sets of data are the same. They're talking about, it, as far as I can tell, quarter one. So from here down from here down. And since the scales match, then obviously they're not the same. The only thing you can think about is what if they mean lower quartiles like the Q1 and Q2 are lower than Q3, Q4, and if I mark the points where they go down, they are the same. Mm, no. So here and here, if I draw a straight line, I'd end up hitting both. But I'm going to say probably they're talking about Q1 because you don't refer to Q1 and Q2's lower quartiles, but if you think that way, maybe you'll put like a little star there or something or whatever that mark is I was making um, to sort of just check it before you choose your final answer. Number three, more students in third period than in fifth period scored 87 or above. Well, here's 87 or above, and you could think like, oh yeah, see this one's all the way up here and this one's only down here, but it speaks nothing to where those 
particularly are located. It's just telling you the top quarter of values fall between here and here. So they may have one kid that's up here and a ton that are down here. And this one maybe there's, you know, a lot here. So you're not 100% sure except for the fact that they tell you that the classes have 23 students each. Which means the quarters of each class are the same. Even though, you know, if you divide 23 by 4 you don't get an even number. Uh, maybe a kid and a half or whatever it happens to be. A kid and three-fourths. But the numbers in the quarters are the same and since they want 87 or above and that's where the quarter four begins for both groups it's the same number of kids or same number of students so just be aware that that's the way it breaks down so no that's not true and you can't say much about where they're located either the last thing the number of students in third period who scored from 73 to 79 so from here to here Yay! Uh, equaled the number of students in fifth period who scored from 68 here to 79 here. And you'll notice they have one thing in common, which is that they that chunk of scores represents Q2 for both groups. And as I said before, each quarter has the same amount of students. If the classes have the same amount of students, if this ever said anything about they both have the same number of students, then you'd just be like, you know, you couldn't say that's true or not, so maybe you'd pick a different one. But in this case, all of Q2 is covered by that spread. All of Q2 is covered by this one. So I can say yes. The number of students in third period uh, is equal uh, from this range is equal to the number of students of fifth period in this range that did it. And I can mark out my little terribly drawn star in B, and then I'm good to go. So there it is, box and whisker plots, earth science classes at the end of the day, and your life. <laughs>